right, Alan, we turn now to that suspicious fire on Detroit's west side, sending a family to the hospital, including a 16 year old with burns over most of her body. Now investigators are looking into possible foul play. Action News reporter Andrea Ison spoke with witnesses who were awakened by the screams. A suspicious fire, as you can see here on Detroit's west side, wreaking havoc. Now we have a lot of questions and everyone is looking for answers. I heard screaming, crying, and banging on doors. Next I know the apartments was smoky. Friday morning, all was quiet inside this complex on the city's west side. That is, until an unfamiliar sound sent families, tenants, into a frenzy. It was a fire. The blaze was bold. Fear and panic was present in seconds on Schaefer. We all try to get it, work our way out of there to survive before it blow all the way up. Of course, Detroit fire crews came to extinguish the flames and help evacuate everyone inside. Several people were hurt some worse than others, like a teenage girl who lived here. We're told she suffered burns over 70% of her body. I seen a little girl, she was in a flame of fire trying to get it off of her. This baby is hurt, this baby hurt. Three other children and three adults were treated for smoke inhalation, but now dozens of people have nowhere to go. We got eight families affected. They don't have nowhere to go. They don't have no clothes, no food, no nothing. And this is what you do. This is what you do. You don't do people this way. Was this a horrible accident or were the intentions behind what happened here just criminal, cruel? Some folks have been hearing things that could point to foul play. Word that this was caused by a firebomb spread as fast as the smoke and flames themselves. Could someone have had a target? And missed the guy that they was looking for must have did something awful wrong for them to come and throw a firebomb trying to get to him but they threw it in the wrong apartment the girl was hurt bad whoever this is they need to catch him though investigators believe what happened here is suspicious obviously they still have to do the work to investigate to get to the truth on detroit's west side of andrea isom seven action news all right andrea thank you we're going to